Okay, this short lesson video is meant to review how you can expand and improve and add depth to your explanation of rhetorical strategies on the AP Rhetorical Analysis Essay. Um, what tends to make a good essay a great essay for students is how well you can explain and give insight into how those strategies work and affect the audience. Some students tend to try to explain a strategy by simply summarizing what the author said. That's the biggest mistake that a lot of students make in these explanations. What you're looking to do when you explain each one of these strategies is number one to show off your language skills because it's a language test. They want to see what type of writer you are. But if you'll remember to try to answer a series of questions with your explanation. If you can remember to try to answer these questions, if you do that effectively, you will have a really good explanation to that strategy and really show off your language skills. The first question would be, how does this strategy usually work? You have to, in that explanation, show that you know how the strategy you identified works. You know what the strategy is. Um, don't assume that they'll just know what strategy you're talking about. You need to show that you know what the strategy is and how it usually works. Next you would want to explain how the strategy is working in the specific example you gave. right? As you've reviewed on this, you identify a strategy being used, you give an example of that strategy being used from the text, and then you need to kind of interpret and explain how that specific example, how the strategy is being used within it. This is a vital question to try to answer if you can. Why did the author or speaker use this strategy on this particular audience? This is really where you get that depth. This is where people who score high on this essay tend to really shine. Okay, So you want to avoid in answering that question saying things like this. Well, the author uses it on this audience to get his point across or to tell them what he wants them to know or to make his point. Um, that's kind of a cop-out. You want to be more specific than that. All these things are very general and if I was grading that I, I, I would believe that you didn't know what their point was because you're not being specific or you didn't know what he wanted he or she wanted the audience to know or you didn't know what point that the author was trying to make and so you just say that. It's a cop-out and um, it's not really quality explanation of the strategy. And then this one may be the most important piece. Really what makes the best rhetorical analysis essays shine and stand apart is when students get into interpreting and kind of speaking confidently about how this strategy made the specific audience feel and how this strategy made the specific audience react or respond. We want you as a interpreter and, and uh, as someone analyzing this, this piece of, of writing, we want you to get in the audience's head. We want you to ask yourself what's going on in the audience's head when they read and encounter this strategy. Remember, the author or speaker is using this strategy to essentially manipulate the audience on purpose and you need to talk about what's happening in the audience's head. How are you manipulating? How's the audience manipulating them? So in order to do that you have to actually know your audience, right? Um, so it's going to be really important that if you don't know who the intended audience of the piece was then you can't really accurately analyze how the strategies work on them. Now the good news is when you look at that AP prompt right at the top before the actual passage itself they'll always give you some background information. In this background information they'll tell you who wrote or gave the speech that's being uh, given, what the occasion was, right? Delivered a speech fo um, following speech before the convention of the National American Women's Suffrage Association. So it also tells you who the audience is, right? Um, this information is vital for you to be able to speak intelligently about how that strategy was working on the audience. Remember the rhetorical triangle which has nothing to do with the Illuminati, right, for you conspiracy theorists out there. The best way to understand this is to see it in action. I pulled a couple of student examples that I think do a great job of explaining, okay? So take a minute and pause the screen and carefully read 
how this student analyzed uh, the strategy that they gave it and how they talked about the interaction between the speaker and the audience and what's going on in the audience's head. Pause it for a minute. Now they take some big leaps here. They say some things to kind of uh, push the envelope a little bit, you know, um, but it works. They talk about what's going on in the audience's head and the positive association they get. Very good example here of what you're looking to do. Let's look at another example. Take a minute, pause the screen, and read through this. Continue reading down here. Notice how much this student talks about the speaker and the speaker's intention in using this strategy and notice how much they talk about the audience and what the audience is believing and thinking when the speaker uses this strategy. This is what a quality explanation looks like in the rhetorical analysis essay. That is what you're going for if you want to score high. So if you're watching this video as a part of the review for the AP exam, um, one of the things I'm asking you to do is to go back over your work. Go look at when you've tried to attempted to explain these rhetorical strategies and see how you can make those explanations look more like the explanations I just showed you.